Great. These are wonderful questions. Why do we have fluoride in the in our water? I think it's uh, archaic. We began with fluoride in the water out of good intention because there was a, a real challenge of decay with decay in teeth. Probably, I'm not sure historically if that has to do with refining our foods and the introduction of refined sugar into the diet. I don't know, but. This was before, I believe, that we had all these fluoride toothpastes. There is no need, if you believe in fluoride, to have fluoride in your water. And it should be a choice. There is a, a rapid availability of fluoride in toothpaste. Toothpaste, toothbrushes are even given out in food banks. You know, generally speaking, there would be very few people that might want this that would go without it. I personally don't believe that it's what we need. I believe in a change of healthier diet, no refined sugars, and good oral hygiene can be done without fluoride. And I definitely do not want it in my water. But this is why I believe it's there. It's an archaic belief. It's outlived its time. And now it's time to just look at the life, vitality, and health of water coming into you know, into the urban environment or wherever it is, but also going out and back into the rest of nature. Now, what does democracy mean to me? Freedom of thought. The freedom of thought with a conscientious uh, activation, meaning consideration for others with freedom of thought. We don't exist in isolation, though we may feel we do. And I think a freedom to share those thoughts in a respectful way for self and others, and then to arrive at both individual and group decisions without fear. And I think without fear is the biggest part of this. And with respect would be also a huge part of this. And I think that institutionally, we have to protect integrity. Integrity is in short supply. It begins here with you and I. And it's up to us as individuals to maintain that integrity. And integrity is a part of a democratic process. And without it, we don't have true democracy. So that is what I would say if it pertains with Canada. I believe we have a system in Canada that is workable. We have a monarchy and a governor general that exists not to tell us what to do, but they exist to maintain integrity of parliament, which is our parliament is a democratic parliament, a constitutional monarchy. And I think that at every crossroads we must educate and make people aware of you know all of these kinds of things so that we know how our political democratic process is supposed to work. We are heavily influenced by the United States. Our Canadians know more probably about the American government system than they know about ours. They don't always understand the importance of the role of our Governor General, and that is to protect the integrity of Parliament and democracy in our country. How would you eat if supermarkets closed? If something would happen, like a plague across the continent, and all the truckers that are, are moving food across the continent all got sick, we have exactly three days worth of food to last everybody that it does not have an independent source of food beyond supermarkets. That is a travesty. That is reckless. That is dangerous and irresponsible. Very few people are aware of that. That information that I gave you came from a trucker. Now, I would go to a farmer's market. Currently, where I live, I only grow a tiny amount of herbs in the condo situation, which kind of brings me to my ideal home. My ideal home would be an earthship. It would. I think it's a splendid idea. It's resourceful, it's creative, it's adaptable, and it's doable in cold climates and hot climates. You can grow pineapples in an earth ship in the middle of winter in Canada successfully. I think this is an idea worth adapting across the country. It has a barn building spirit, which is something we very, very much need in this country and around the world. It's people working a grassroots way together and helping each other. The helping each other system has always worked well for humanity. Why abandon it now? Thank you.